All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. This Wildcard Wednesday video is going to be 100% up close and personal because what we're going to be doing is installing a wood, real wood skins, just like they pictured here. We're going to be putting it on my uh, on my Relo RX200. Now, I like the finish of this. It's nice and black, but sometimes, sometimes you just have to change it up. And wood is out there, and they're making skins for a whole wide variety of mods. Don't worry, I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out if you're so interested. I believe these run... $24.95 for a real wood skin, and that's what it should look like when it's done. See, I think that looks pretty cool. Relo, all nice and woody and hemo looking. So what we're gonna do is get into this package, follow the instructions, and hopefully at the end, I'll have a completely wood skinned Relo. So inside the package, we have our skin parts. This looks like the back door to me because that's the front, slightly different color. That's for the battery cover. You can see the little USB right there. It give you an isopropyl alcohol wipey, some instructions, and a welcome. Welcome to the rapidly growing wood family. We hope that you enjoy your wood skin as much as the instructions. So what we're going to do, clean our RX200 Relo with alcohol wipes and dry with a paper towel. Remove all doors and clean thoroughly. Any e-liquid before applying will ruin the adhesive. Position part A over this, part B over that, part E over blah, blah, blah. Start at one end of the battery cover. All right, well, they gave us instructions. It says, not aligned how you want before firmly pressing on panels, peel and reapply. And they have video instructions over at woodbooks.com. Like I said, don't worry, I'll have a link in the description. So now I need paper towels. Luckily, I'm an American and I own paper towels and I have uh, Viva paper towels. These are my favorite. Uh, these are my favorite paper towels. So we're going to get all of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to hang on to my isopropyl alcohol wipe. I'm going to pop the door off of this Relo, just like they said, and I'm going to give this a solid wipe down. I can see some juice residue. Oh, definitely there on the top. Over here, when you you know you dry fire your atomizer, you get little splatters. So we're gonna give this a thorough, thorough wipe down, door included. It has been thoroughly wiped down, so let's get back to those instructions. Which part does it want it to put on first? Over the LED screen and buttons. So I'm assuming that's this, nope, that's back there. That's the LED screen and those are the buttons. LED screen and buttons part. We're gonna pop this on there. Thankfully, the button cutouts kind of make it easier to, uh, to line up there. So I'm gonna peel this backing off and we're gonna see if we can, we can line it up on there. Ah, oh, this is gonna look so cool. Well, I got it on there and here's the bummer part. You see the screen? This is obviously fitted. This is supposed to fit the RX200 and the DNA200, but the screen is not lining up properly. Uh, I tried it a bunch of different ways, and all I did was line up these buttons here. I love that that looks like a little face. I lined up with these buttons here, and the screen, you can see part of the mod still right there. When it's off, can't really tell, but definitely when that screen lights up, you're gonna be able to tell that the edge of the screen might even be covered up a little bit up here. Well, we'll see how it goes. What's next? What's next, wood uh, over the USB port? So that's the, that's the tiny part. So that's this tiny part here. It even looks more like a face now. I'm gonna to try to line this up with the USB. Let me peel this. Firm press that down. Oh, the fit and finish on these are actually pretty nice. Might need to move it, try to move it over just a touch. Just a little bit and down a little bit. I put it, sorry, I put it, uh, fit and finish on these is pretty good. It's not quite lining up right there. And I left a little bit too big of a gap right there. Let me see if I can reapply this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to peel this off. I gave it too firm of a press. Nope, that is on there very firmly. So I've got a little tiny gap over here. Just, I mean, barely even noticeable from looking at it. And there's a little bit of a ridge right here. And that's just because the Relo, I think 
you know, it's slightly rounded right there. But so far, so far, it's looking cool as fuck. Center skin over button and press. So this is over the button. So this is going to be this part over the button. Oh, this might be a little bit more complicated. Hmm. Seems to fit pretty well right there. Oh, it, it kind of does. It kind of just seats itself in there. So I'm going to peel this off and stick it down. It just fits itself in there. I mean, that feels that feels exactly where it's supposed to go. So what I'm going to do is just fold down these sides and hope, hope that they line up. Yeah? Okay, I can feel it. They kind of go into place there. That's good. See, look at that. It's like uh, it's like one piece right there. It's pretty good. Looking pretty good, Nick. Not bad. There's a little bit of a gap, just a slight bit gap, but it feels it feels very nice. These line up all really nice, especially on this side where I didn't mess it up. It feels good. It feels uh feels very nice on there. Well, all that's left to do is the door, which, ugh, I have a feeling is going to be hard. Also, I don't have a piece for right here, which is weird because in the picture it shows wood over the button, but that's probably the DNA 200 version. They don't have a piece for the RX 200? I don't know. That's weird. There's just no, uh, it's interesting. There's no wood for that. What are you going to do? Yeah, this is the last one. Start at one edge of the battery door cover, roll the wrap around the remainder of the mod. Oh, this should be difficult. Oh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, I guess you can just start on one side and just bend it down, press it against it. All these wood panels are really, really super sort of soft and bendy, which is great, because then you can bleh, bend it over the door. All right, uh, I'm gonna peel this off and try to line it up. All right, does that look like it's, uh, I think that's good. I really don't want this to be off at the beginning, but I feel like that's pretty good on there. It's lined up right with the edge where I kind of want it to be. Feels even on the top and bottom, so what I'm gonna do is just use my fingers just like they said, roll this around. Hope it lines up on this side as well. Looks pretty good. Okay, I think we're in business here. See a little bit right there. It's kind of overhanging just a touch. Bottom looks pretty good, maybe a little bit low, but it's really even on the top really even on the top sort of uh, right there looks like it's hanging over on the bottom i believe they didn't i mean this is supposed to be for a dna 200 so i think they might have uh assumed that they were the same length uh let me throw this on the mod and see how it looks fit and finish wise and all together wow it fits fits together really really nice I think that looks super cool nothing for the top which is strange I feel like uh, a top part would have been in order it does add some thickness overall to the mod so your button does not feel like it's protruding it sits flush now with that wood skin that's on there still relatively easy to press up and down buttons still relatively easy to press i gotta put some batteries in here because i want to see how that display looks yeah you can kind of tell it makes it look eh, it makes it look off center it's not centered in the hole now it's kind of off to the side because the screen actually goes up into here about two or three millimeters and there's two or three millimeters of the mods still showing on the bottom but Overall, it, dude, it feels really nice. The door actually feels very seamless, and the differentiation between this front panel and this side panel along these seams does feel really, really nice. Up and down buttons are still accessible if you kind of get in there. They're actually very slightly recessed now beneath the wood, but overall, I think this looks cool. I would have loved something for the top. I don't know why they didn't add a top wood part. I'm assuming maybe because of the atomizer? 
No, because that's recessed. That's recessed down in there. So they could have easily done a top part. But, you know, eh, what are you going to do? Otherwise, I think it looks very, very cool. So, yeah, there you go. Wood skins from woodbx.com. Don't worry. I'll have a link in the description to where you can Check it out if you're so interested. They have it for all sorts of mods. The Segeli 150TC, the Evic VT Mini, all the, uh, you know, uh, other things, IPV D2, the iStick 100 watt, which I also got, which I'm going to be putting on the 100 watt. But yeah, it is what it is. It's a wood skin for your device and I think it looks pretty snazzy. I'm gonna leave this on here for at least the foreseeable future because I've always liked wooden mods and uh, the idea of having a wooden Rillo, that's just cool to me. Sorry, I just wanna say one real quick thing about these wood skin wraps. You literally get one chance to apply them. So take your time. I rushed it a little bit in the video and it shows in a couple spots. Additionally, I put one on my iStick 100 watt and it definitely shows in a couple spots where I rushed it. It's not quite lined up correctly and there's no real chance to right now at this point go back and peel it off and put it on correctly. The glue that they use is really, really strong. You'll be able to get it off in the future, but you're going to destroy the wood wrap as you do that. I tried to peel this portion off of the front off so that I could maybe realign it a little bit and it tore the wood. The wood is a very thin like balsa wood type of wood. It's really bendy and flexy and you really do only get one chance to put this on. So take your time and do it right. Additionally, their packaging, one of the pieces of wood is always taped to the backing like with sticky tape over the top and bottom and it's not on that one but it's on this one the the sticky of the tape stuck to the outside of the wood and this part right up here i can feel it is tacky it's just i can feel it sticking to my thumb and over time it's collected some some crud and some gunk from putting this in and out of my pocket Overall, I really do like these wooden wraps. I think they are a really good, cool idea, and it's made my Rillo very, very cool. But take your time when you're putting them on. You get one chance to do it. Don't mess it up. Just be patient. Take your time. Make sure everything is lined up really well. And once you get it all on there, it uh, it does make a big difference. It does make a big difference and it makes it feel kind of like a completely different wooden mod. But that's what I got. Now, now we can keep on vaping. That's enough.